Hello, my name is Eileen and I am with Empower Network and most importantly, I am with the Prosperity Team. And you can connect with me on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash I live to be free. I wanted to shoot this video because I have a story to tell. Actually, I have many stories. And I also wanted to show you that I am a real person. Um, I hold down a job. I do this business part time. But what I love about it is I get to share stories and I, you know, I'm an older American, so I have a lot of great stories. So let me get to the point and I want to tell you about this story and it's going to be posted in my blog. So um, at the bottom of this video, you can actually click the link and it will take you to my blog and you can see the rest of my story. But I want to tell you about a story uh, that happened back in 1975. And I had a beautiful uh, 1972 Camaro. It was awesome. It was, it was chocolate brown with white interior. And it had big wheels in the back. They called them Craig uh, rims. And they were chrome and with big tires. And I had a spoiler in the back. It was just, it was, it was a dream car. It was so pretty. And at, and at any rate, uh, you know, myself, I was like... Uh, in my late 20s and I lived alone in an apartment and I had my brother and his wife over I made them dinner and we had a nice evening together and then they proceeded to leave and they left and it was like a few minutes later he comes he comes ringing the bell and he comes back in and he says Rainy and that's my nickname my whole family calls me Rainy so he says Rainy he says where's your car I says and my brother's always he's a kibitza he always kids around so I said, stop kidding around, Tony. I says, it's parked right in front, you know, in front of the door. He says, no, it's not. I'm being serious. And you heard about the little boy who cried wolf? I'm telling you, I did not believe him. He said, no, I'm serious. The car is not there. So he proceeded to make me come outside, and sure enough, the car wasn't there. Oh, my God, I was so upset. But more importantly, it was, it was like somebody took something that was mine, you know, and the, and the, other thing was, I had two more payments left on it. So anyway, I proceeded to call the police. The police uh, came. They took get down all my information. And, you know, I really didn't think I'd ever see it again. But sure enough, two days later, I got a call from the police station and a police officer. And he told me to be down, I, I think it was in a, a couple days, to meet a certain detective. I don't remember his name. But I had to go down to the Queen's... Um, um, not the Queens, I'm sorry, uh, the Nassau County uh, Courthouse. And uh, I had to meet the uh, detective there, and he would tell me the rest of the story. They found my car. So <laughs> I go down there, and first of all, you know, I, I, I meet the detective, and he was surprised to see me, you know, a young girl, because he expected it to, this car to belong to, you know, a guy. So anyway, this is what happened. Actually, it was an African-American young man that stole a car. He was like about 17, 18 years old. He, he didn't even drive. And he, they robbed a bank. Him and he had an accomplice in the car. They robbed the bank. It was in the papers. They robbed the bank. It was in a big police chase in Queens. And they exchanged gunfire. So actually, uh, the detective showed me where I could, you know, see the car. The car was totaled because he was, he was running. The cops were chasing him. And he was uh, dodging other cars. He was hitting parked cars. And there were p kids and people all over the place. He's lucky he didn't kill anybody. But, and, and they were shooting at one another. And the last thing he hit was a brick stoop head on. And he landed up like, like this. On this, this was a stoop. And he landed like this. So the whole total underneath the carriage was all bent. It was just, forget about it. And on the driver's side, but right past, the, it was, it's a two door. So right past the door, on the driver's side, there were two big bullet holes in there. I mean, I cried. I couldn't believe it. My beautiful car. It was like totaled. Uh, but the other thing that's really funny about this story is I actually had to um, make a statement. And um, I had to tell them, you know, my name, ob obviously, you know, my age, all this. And I had to, they asked me, did you give this kid permission to, you know, borrow your car? I said, no, of course not. These are one of the silly questions they asked me. And the other thing he asked me is, is he related to you? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wish I had a picture of it. You know, like today, in today's day and age, we have cell phones 
and I would have been able to take a picture of that car right then and there. But back then in 75, we didn't have cell phones and we had cameras that had film in it. So, and you don't go around carrying cameras on you. So I never really got a picture of it. And I, I would love to have a picture of it today. But anyway, that's just one of many stories that I have. And I just wanted to show you that I am a real person. I'm more than just a person behind the emails that I send you. Uh, and um, and uh, more than just my profile picture at the bottom of the email. So if you would like to connect with me, please connect with me on my Facebook fan, pan, uh, I'm sorry, my Facebook fan page at uh, facebook.com forward slash I live to be free. And e uh, you can email me. I have my email at the bottom of the, my email. Um, or you can just connect with me on Facebook and uh, write on my timeline. Send me a message if you have any questions. I would love to help you and to answer any questions that you may have. So uh, keep me uh, posted. Watch, uh, you know, uh, watch my blog. And at the bottom of the blog, like I said, just connect with me on Facebook. I would love to hear from you. So until my next video, I'll see you uh, on the next video. Bye.